So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Facebook lead ads to funnel kit as contact. Let's say to market your business, you are running some Facebook ads and you are generating some leads as well. Now you want to add those leads as contact in funnel kit. Now let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated using Facebook lead ads, automatically the same lead will be added in funnel kit as a new contact as well. Now, if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Facebook page. And on this Facebook page, I'm running some Facebook ads and generating some new leads. Now I want that whenever a new lead is received on my Facebook ads, I want to add that same lead in my funnel kit as well as a new contact. Now to do this, we are going to connect our Facebook account, our Facebook lead ads account with funnel kit. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Pavli Connect to do so. So here you can see we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. So just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. I'll name it as Facebook lead ads to funnel kit. And after that, just select the folder of your Pavli Connect account in which you want to create the workflow and click on create. After clicking on create, here you can see the workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our Facebook account, our Facebook lead ad account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new lead is received, a new lead is generated in Facebook lead ads, automatically the details of that new lead will be captured inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. Then after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of that new lead to Funnel Kit so that we can add that lead as a contact in our Funnel Kit as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose app, search for Facebook Lead Ads. Just select it. After selecting Facebook Lead Ads in Trigger Event from the dropdown, select the Trigger Event as New Lead Instant. After selecting a Trigger Event, just click on Connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect. Now to make this connection, just click on this connect with Facebook lead ads button. And because I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser, this pop-up box will appear and after that our Facebook account will get connected with Pavli Connect. Now, if you're connecting your Facebook account for the very first time with Pavli Connect, it might ask you some permission or to select the pages which you want to connect. So you just have to select your Facebook page from which you want to capture the leads and connect it with Pavli Connect in the trigger step. After making the connection, here the first thing it asks is, is the page. Now here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the pages which I have in my Facebook account. Now out of all of this, we have to select the page on which we are running at, from which we want to get the new leads. So the name of my Facebook page is Green Pro Landscaping. So I'm going to select this particular Facebook page over here. After selecting our Facebook page, it is asking us lead gen form. So it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple lead gen form for a single page. So in this drop down, you will get a list of all the lead gen forms. Now, if you want to add the leads from some specific form from Facebook leaders from this Facebook page to funnel kit, then you can select that particular form. But if you want to add the leads from multiple forms from your Facebook page, which you have created in Funnel Kit, in that case, you can select all lead gen forms as well. After selecting all lead gen form, just click on save and send test request. And when we click on save and send test request, here you can see it has now changed to waiting for response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some response, some details of a new lead from Facebook lead ads. So let's do it. What we are going to do? We are going to generate a test lead over here. We are going to use the Facebook lead ad testing tool to generate a test lead. 
Now you must be thinking how you can reach to this Facebook lead ad testing tool. So we already have a dedicated video live on the channel. And in that video, we have covered how you can access Facebook lead ad testing tool, how you can use it, and how using this lead ad testing tool, you can generate the test lead and capture the details in your public and workflow. So here in this lead ad testing tool, you have to select your Facebook page and the form in which you want to generate the lead. And after that, just click on this preview form button. After clicking on preview form, here we have to enter the details of a test lead. For example, the name of this lead is demo user. This is the email address. And after that, this is the mobile number. This is the dummy mobile number which we are entering. Now after entering the details of a test lead of a dummy lead, just click on next and click on submit. And as we click on submit, you can see a test lead is generated using this lead ad testing tool. And because we have connected our Facebook account with Pavli Connect, here you will see in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we have received some response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same lead. Here you can see the same name demo user, you can see the same email address and also the same mobile number. Other than that, you can see some other details related to this lead as well. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have successfully connected our Facebook lead ads account with Pavli Connect and captured the response of a new lead. After this, what we want to do, we want to send the details of this new lead to funnel kit so that we can add this person, this lead as a contact in funnel kit as well. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in choose app, we are going to search for funnel kit, just select it. After selecting Funnel Kit, an action event from this dropdown, select the action event as Create Contact. Then just click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here we have to connect our Funnel Kit account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our Funnel Kit account and also the website URL, the WordPress website URL where we have added our Funnel Kit account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API key and site URL. So to get it, first we have to go to the WordPress account or WordPress website in which we have added our Funnel Kit account. So here it is. After that, here from the left sidebar, we are going to select Funnel Kit Automation and then we will go to Funnel Kit Settings. After coming to the Settings page, click on this Public API option and here you can see this option to add a new API key. Just click on this Add New button, give the permission as for example Read and Write and select the user. So I'll just select the user, I'll just search for a user over here who is going to generate this key. So I've selected this user and make sure that this user is the admin of your WordPress site. Then we have to add a description which is optional. For example, I'll add a description as Pavli Connect. You can add any other description of your choice. After selecting the permission, selecting the user and entering the description, just click on Add. And as we click on Add, we will see this API key will be generated in our Funnel Kit account. You just have to copy the API key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. After pasting the API key, it is asking us for the site URL. Now to get the site URL, go back to your WordPress site and from the URL section, we have to copy the URL, the base URL of our website. So here we are going to copy the base URL before slash WP. So we have copied the base URL as p2world.com slash WP3. And we are going to enter exact same URL over here. And as the help text says that we have to remove this slash, the last slash which we will be having. So there should not be any slash at the last. After entering the API key and site URL, just click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our funnel kit account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the email. That what is the email address of this person to whom we want to add as a contact in funnel kit. So we have received the details of a new lead from Facebook lead ads in our trigger step. So here in trigger responses, you can see we have the first name, last name, email and mobile number. And from trigger responses, we have to basically add the details of this new lead which we have received to this funnel kit action step. And to add the details from the previous step, to add the details from our trigger step to the action step, we are going to use a process called mapping. So here in the field of email, we have to map the email address of the new lead from Facebook lead ads from trigger response. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead which we have received from Facebook lead ads. Out of all of these responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped over here. 
In this way, whatever email address the lead is going to enter in our lead gen form, the same email address, the same details will be received inside Pavli Connect and we are going to add the new contact with the same details in Funnel Kit. After email, it is asking us first name, last name and contact number. So one by one, we are going to use the same process of mapping and map the rest of the details as well. And let's map the contact number. Then it is asking us country, state, status. So all of these things, we haven't received all of these things, all of these responses from Facebook lead ads. And all of these fields are also not mandatory, are not required. So if you want, you can just ignore these fields for now. It is asking us status. So in the drop down, we have four options, subscribed, unverified, bounced, and unsubscribed. So whatever status you want to select, you can select it according to your choice. Let's say I want to select the status as subscribed, so I will be selecting subscribe. Then it is asking this for the tag. So if you want, you can add some specific tag as per your choice from the drop down and also select the list that in which particular list you want to add this contact. And after selecting all the option and mapping details in all the fields which you have, then just click on this save and send test request button. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we are going to receive some response. And yes, we have received the response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the details of a new lead which we have mapped over here, using these same details, a new contact is created in Funnel Kit. So let's check it. We will go to a Funnel Kit account and we will go to the contact section. And yes, here you can see demo user, the same person with the same details, whose details we have just now added in the Facebook lead ad testing tool, whose lead we have received on Facebook. The same person is now added as a new contact in Funnel Kit. Here you can see the same name, we have the same email address and also the same mobile number. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation in real time once. For that, we will go back to our lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate another test lead. But using this lead ad testing tool, we can only generate one test lead at a time. So what we have to do, first we have to delete the previous test lead which we have created. Click on this delete lead button and after that here it will show that the test lead has been deleted. And yes, it is deleted successfully. Now just refresh this page and once again we'll just search for the page for which we want to generate the lead. So I'll just select the page over here and here it is. Select the lead gen form and click on this preview form button. And after that, we are going to enter the details of another lead. This time, the name of the person is test user. The email address is this. And after that, this is the dummy mobile number which we are going to enter. Now let's click on next and click on submit. So as we click on submit, we will see just now another test lead is generated using Facebook lead ads. We have received a new lead in Facebook lead ads. And as this new lead is generated, Instantly, automatically, within few seconds, the same lead will be added as a contact in Funnel Kit. So we'll just go to our Funnel Kit account. We will once again go to Contacts page. And yes, here you can see within few seconds, test user is added as a new contact. We have the same name, same mobile number, and same email address. Here you can see the same lead as well and some other details too. So we have the same tag test which we have selected in our Public Connect workflow and also the same list. This means this automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.